Hi everyone, Radhe Radhe. In this video, we're going to be doing chapter 7, verse 26. And uh, um, oh my goodness, this chapter is just blowing my mind completely, you know, step by step over and over and over and over again. Um, so this verse, he's saying basically that I've always known everything. And um, obviously we don't, we, we forget what we uh, knew like one minute ago, we forget. <laughs> what did I do a minute ago? What did I do five minutes ago? Huh? <laughs> um yeah so um, and so he's he's explaining more about who he is he's helping us understand him um okay and i was um i was having a thought about prayer and about how to pray so let me if you want to scroll forward to where you start to see the screen we'll i'll start the verse from there but i just wanted to share a little bit before i do that and that is um um the prayer that we have many times like many times one my one of my prayers is like please help me get my me myself out of my ego because i can feel my ego even with just every moment i can feel my ego it's just my thoughts i can feel my ego oh i'm so happy that i did something because this person was impressed or this person liked me or i did something cool or just any little things and they're just non-stop <laughs> unfortunately um, so I will pray and I, I had a video about this uh, as well like you can, somebody Raj Bihari Prabhu had talked about he had a friend who would do this two touch points every day in the morning and it, when he woke up in the evening before going to bed he would just sit until he felt a connection with God he would just sit it does it didn't matter for how long one minute five minutes um, depending on how long it took in that day to feel a real connection with God so I love that. I do that as like I try to. I don't have a fixed like morning and evening thing, but I try to do that a lot. And I used to do that in a different way. But um, now that he said it very specifically, clearly like that, it just uh, he articulated it. And I was like, yeah, that's perfect. Um, so, yeah. So when we do prayers, let like, we can do that. And the other thing is just ask very sincerely, um, please help me get myself out of my ego mode. Please help me uh, surrender to you. Please help me get this anger out of my heart. Please help me get the impurities out of my heart. Please help me focus on the uh, chanting because um, I've been doing one round chanting every day, like without fail. Like I wanted, that's a lifelong commitment that I've made, like huge, thrurb, sankalp, like, you know, uh, uh, that I've made that I'm going to do. So please help me do the chanting in a more surrendered and more authentic way. Um, please help me be authentic. Please help me um, do things for um, serving you. Please help me learn how to serve you um, in an authentic way. And please help me learn to love you in an authentic way. And please help me um, learn how to serve you without wanting the feeling of like oh i did something i i served something i i did something so cool or that kind of thing you know but if you just ask um i i am seeing results in the last few days i've been praying like there's been a little shift in my prayer so i'm trying to express that to you explain that to you maybe that will help you um but yeah, I mean, just the sincere, like, please help me get to a place where I can serve you and I can get out of my ego. Just peaceful, calm and genuine and go as genuine as you can. Just peacefully as genuine as you can and ask for that. And uh, he will reciprocate and I'm sure he'll reciprocate with me as well some at some point. He does. He definitely reciprocates, right? That's the thing. It's, there's no question about the fact that if you ask for something, he will reciprocate whatever it is that you're asking for. So you, you have to be just very careful what you ask for because he'll give you whatever you want. <laughs> and that might take you away from him. That might take you away from eternal bliss. It might, Anandam uh, Vartanam, it might take you away from that. It might take you towards this uh, momentary joy that it's like a blip and just goes up and goes down. And it doesn't even go that high. It'll go up a little bit and then it'll go down and then just these momentary blips that we think we're... Um, satisfied by but they're not real they're i mean they're they, i mean they're real they're they're good in that moment but they can be so much more they can be so much deeper so much more pure so much more intense in even those moments oh um i'm i this is all i, I want to know this so badly i just <laughs> i'm sure I, that's and he talks okay so let's go into the verse and then i'll uh, 
um, say something else, one other piece to this. Okay. Um, let's sing this together. Veda ham samatitani vartamanani charjuna bhavishyani cha bhutani maam tu veda nakarshana. O oh, Arjun, as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, I know everything that has happened in the past, that's happening in the present, and all things that are yet to come. I know all living entities, but me, no one knows. Okay, So I, we don't even know what happened one minute ago or five minutes ago. And he knows everything and he keeps our karma and he keeps all living entities, all lifetimes, he knows everything. right? So he keeps the karma for us and um, he is the one who, who does everything. He's sitting, sitting in our hearts, everybody. He's sitting in our hearts. Um, so it's, it's like the sun and the cloud. Basically, the sun is covered by the cloud, but the, the cloud can't cover the sun. The sun is there, right? It's just that we are not able to see the sun because of the cloud. But uh, it's, it's the, the cloud is nothing compared to the sun, right? <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, okay. Um, yeah, so he's uh, Trikal Darshi. That's the word that he uses. Trikal Darshi. Uh, basically, you can see uh, Kal means time, so three means three, so three times, basically, past, present, and future, and uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, so the thing that I was saying is uh, um, not exactly from this, but kind of it, it is from this, right? We have forgotten God. We have forgotten our eternal relationship with God. We have forgotten um, the joy, the true nature of the joy, the bliss that we can feel. Because we are also Satchidanand. We are uh, just a very small quality. Um, uh, same quality, it's a very small quantity compared. So we, we we are also enjoyers. We like we want to enjoy. We want to, But the enjoyment that we get is from serving Krishna. And we've forgotten that. So, But what he says in, in the previous verse is that there are very, very rare few. I think 7-3 or something. There are very few people who manage to come to know him or to know of him and even like to even know about him like how many people in the world really know about krishna i mean the most of the world i mean india people know but most of the world doesn't know about krishna yet and so very few people even know about him and then of those who want to attain him very very few people even out of those rare souls actually manage to attain that love for him so the fact that we're here the fact oh and then getting a human body out of all of these other bodies that we can get that is so rare so we have a human body we know about Krishna. We're actually like, you know, reading the Gita. We know about Krishna and we're trying to attain Krishna. Do you know how fortunate you are? Like how fortunate you all are and how fortunate we all are that we have this thing. Like let's do as much as we possibly can towards Krishna. Let's let's go with our entire hearts. Let's pray. Let's go with everything that we've got, like everything that we can manage. You know, I mean, it's okay. We have our lives and we live our lives. No, I'm not saying don't but let's go as much farther as we can manage like you know we can just think about while doing everything else like karma yoga right we can do whatever we're doing do everything we're doing do our jobs do our take care of our families take care of whatever we can do all of that and just think just direct our brains towards krishna direct our minds toward krishna and just keep praying please help me please help me overcome all of my conditioning please help me overcome the 30 miles of covering that i have in front of my heart please help me cleanse my heart cheto darpanam arjanam please help me cleanse the mirror of my heart from the shikshash to come so yeah that's what um, we can just keep praying and keep thinking about god while we're doing our lives normally and uh, we're so lucky we're so lucky let's take advantage of this lifetime and even if we don't that's okay let's not beat ourselves up because there is no loss on this path at all there is no loss if we die we go come into the next life we will start from where we are because we we will get this benefit for eternity everything we do one time we say hare krishna hare krishna Krishna, Krishna, Hare, 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 Ram, Hare, Ram, 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 Hare, Hare. We get the benefit for eternity. So let's just yeah keep going as much as we can. And uh, yeah, <laughs> um, wish you all a very beautiful day. Radhe, Radhe.